Today's flashback brings us a look at what the Warwick Mall used to look like back when one of its anchor stores, the Outlet Department Store, had closed. All the outlet stores closed in the summer of 1982. Today's report is from September 16, 1982, 29 years ago today. All the merchandise in the Warwick Mall outlet store is gone. Even the going out of business signs have been taken down. But that doesn't seem to have affected businesses around the empty store. Mall owner Lloyd Bliss says he thinks the closing of the outlet at the mall was a good thing. We won't miss them at all. And in fact, um, our sales continue to show substantial increases uh, in spite of the fact that uh, they have been there and uh, not contributing anything so that if anything, uh, any change we make there is bound to be one for the better. The merchandise from the Warwick store has been brought downtown. Employees here figure they have about two more weeks of work. Tim Carr, Newswatch 10, Providence. Flashing back to another September 16th, 1980. Remember when America's Cup races used to be held in the waters off Newport? This was race one of the 1980 finals. Freedom, skippered by Dennis Conner, won this race and in fact won the cup in 1980. In 1983, Australia took the cup and since then the races have been held in other parts of the country or the world. Now that scene could be repeated next year in a sense when Newport hosts not the America's Cup races themselves but some of the preliminary races. There was a big news conference in fact yesterday on this subject. We reported on it earlier in this broadcast. The America's Cup World Series Regatta event will be held in Rhode Island waters next June 23rd to July 1st. Expected to feature top international sailors ahead of the 2013 America's Cup race in San Francisco. Now, by the way, the reporter in 1982 in that other story, Tim Carr, recently retired from a long TV news career in San Diego. And that's flashback.